Patrick, and you are? I'm Kevin. Kevin, well, welcome. Uh, so what are we bring you in today? Um, I'm looking for a travel trailer. Okay. Come on back. We'll kind of narrow some down what you're looking at, see what I have. We'll, we'll take, take a ride out. We'll go from there, all right? Man? Okay. Come on back. Okay. So, you haven't been here before? No. First time. Okay. First time. Yeah. Have you owned a camper before? Uh, no. Okay. So, you never owned one, you're not trading one in, first time, you, you live in the area? Yeah, I live over here in Cape. Okay, you live out in Cape, that's close. You guys are finally maybe wanting to move forward this year and camp or something and kind of go out with the family and have some fun and and just get out of the house with all this COVID stuff going on? Correct, yeah. It's just me and my wife okay. looking for something just for me and her to do some weekend traveling. Okay, you and the wife kind of get out and do something new. Awesome. Um, so it's going to be the two of you. Possibly any more than that, just two of you? Maybe yeah, a dog? Maybe, maybe, a, maybe a dog and okay. maybe some family members. That okay. Great okay. Have you seen anything online that you like? Anything that's caught your eye? Anything that a friend um, has? My buddy told me to look at some green design and magic. Okay. Okay. And he, he, had okay. some, uh, he had some issues with one in the past, and he said he came here and got an imagine the great quality there. Grand Design is, uh, I sold 127 units last year, 35 are Grand Design, so I always say a little bit more a month, a little bit more gets you a long way. Yeah. Um, insulation's a lot higher in a Grand Design, mm -hmm. just the quality, structure, and build. Yeah, I did a little bit of research on that. Yeah. We have a lot of customers that come here states away just to even look at one. Yeah. So anything used, pre-owned that we get in, none of them are Grand Design because everyone keeps them. Yeah. So, any floor plans you've seen? Um, um, I'm four. looking at the, the 2600, that kind of caught my eye. It might be a little too small though. Okay, 2600 RB is a hot one slide unit. Yeah. Um, well, now, what about tow vehicle wise? What kind of tow vehicle do you uh, have? I, I'm good on that. I got it at 350. So, you got a 350? Yeah. That's usually the first question I ask, but if you're coming out on certain units, so you yeah. might already, oh, I understand you that. already know what you can tow and stuff like that. Yeah. So the 2600 RV is a hot one. It's a one slide unit. It's a rear bath. You have a lot of room in the bathroom to turn around. You're about 29 to 30 foot tip to tip. Yeah, that's no problem. So some of those customers are looking to stay 30 and under. No, um, not me. You're okay to Honestly, go above 30? I might want to go a little bit bigger too. I don't know. That's why I came today. I okay. To Okay. And if you want to stick with the Imagines, I have a 2970 RL. It's a posing slide unit, more square footage. You're about awesome. 33 yeah, and a half. Another one. And uh, that that one would probably cross a lot off your list. Um, so you kind of land it on two units. That's number one. Num number two is price. Some customers are looking at an out the door number. Some customers are looking at a certain payment. You know, me being in sales, I'm still a payment buyer. If I can be you know, three fifty a month and under with a couple grand down. That that is my unit. You yeah. Know what I mean, is there, is there a certain payment range um, trying to be around? You know, I, honestly, yeah. I mean, depends on the two. Like, one of them is a little bit bigger. You know, if I can get you know the bigger one for about the same amount of monthly payment as the smaller one, I should probably just go with the bigger one. Yeah. It might be a little bit more, but then again, you're getting an extra slide. You're going to get more room, and I'll show you why. We'll, kind of, we'll start on the 2600, mm -hmm. and we'll work our way up and go from there, okay? Yeah, I'd try to stay under 350 a month range. 350 yeah. a month, okay. Now, what, to keep that right there, uh, cash down. Can you put any cash oh, down? Yeah, yeah. Some I customers usually putting... do like three to 5,000 down. Yeah, I'll probably um, down. Three to five. And really, to me, it doesn't matter, but a little more down helps with the banks, a little bit lower interest rates, you can get a better payment, stuff yeah, like that. Of course. And definitely to stay at that, 350 or under, make sure we're right there. Um, Credit-wise, you know where your credit score is off yeah, or even a range of it? Last time I checked it was uh, 730. Okay, so we're good there. You got good money down, and we should be good to go. So let me make sure we have two of those. The Grand Design, you imagine, sell the most out of anything here. So let me make sure I have those both on our lot, and hopefully we can go through them and go from there. Okay, Kevin? All right. All right, man. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah. Give me one second. I'll come grab you, okay? All right. All right.